Hi guys, Massman here back with a new video and today I'm going to be looking at um, percentages and how you can use percentages to work out quantities. Um, now to be able to do today's video you must, must be able already to um, multiply and divide by 10 and 100. If you can't do that or you're a little unsure, I'll link a card up below, uh, above and you might want to watch that video first before carrying on with this one. Right, so here I have a pair of football boots and they cost £60. Now in the sale, they're 20% off. So if I want to work out what 20% off this price is, I first need to be able to work out what 10% is. And I can work out 10% by dividing 60 by 10. And that will give me what 10% is. And that would, of course, be £6. So if I've worked out what 10% is, I should be able to work out now what 20% is. 20% is double 10%. So I just double this number here. So that's 12. Now, that's not the final price. That's just the amount of money I must now discount from the £60. So the original price was £60. I must then discount the £12, which was the 20%. And that would give me a final total of £48 for the football boots. And if you ask me, that would be a bargain. Right then, here we have Cristiano Ronaldo. £80 million. Juventus have decided to sell him. And that is 15% off. Well, it's £80 million and 15% off. So how much could somebody buy him for? So again, I need to be able to work out what 10% is here. So forget about the million. Let's just worry about the 80. So 80 divided by 10 would mean 10% is £8 million. Pounds. I'm going to put the M for million. Now, if I worked out what 10% is, I can easily work out what 5% is. 5% is half of 10%. So, half of 8 must be 5%. So if I wanted to work out what 15% is, I would just have to add the 8 and the 4 together. And that would make 12 million. Now again, that's not how much Cristiano Ronaldo will now cost. I have to deduct that 12 million from his original price. His original price was 80. I take away the 12. And that would be 68 million. Another bargain. Okay, now we are getting a little more difficult now. And again, I'm going to keep with the football theme. So FIFA 19, the game, was £51 in the shops. And now it's it's got 23% off the value. So... <clears throat> As I did in the first videos, uh, the first few examples, I am going to find 10%. So hopefully by now you should understand that if I just divide the price by 10, I will work out what 10% is. And that is 5.1. Okay, £5 and 10p. Okay, because we are dealing with money here. So if I worked out that 10% is £5.10. I should be able to just double this and work out that 20% is £10.20p. So I've worked out what the 20% 20, uh, 20 of the 23% is, but now I need to work out what the 3% is. So if I divide 51 by 100... I will work out what 1% is. 
So 51 divided by 100 would give me 0.51 or 51p. And if I worked out what 1% is, I can work out what 3% is by multiplying this number by 3, by multiplying 51p by 3. And that would be 51, 153. So that would be one pound fifty three. Again, this is not the final answer. Okay, I must add my 20%, which is £10.20. And I must add my £1.53. So I've now worked out that 23% is 11 pounds. So this is what 23% is. But again, that is not how much I pay for the game of FIFA. I wish that it was that much. I have to take my 51 pounds and I have to take away the eleven pounds seventy three to find out exactly how much it's going to cost me. So I'm just going to do that quickly here. Some very complicated maths going on here. So the new price of FIFA FIFA is thirty nine pounds twenty seven. Okay, now this one. Uh, I have just two more examples to go, a Dairy Milk and a Big Mac. <clears throat> now, with my Big Mac, the price, uh, with my Dairy Milk, sorry, the price is £3.60. Now, 25%. Hopefully, you should know that 25% is the same as a quarter. Okay, 25% and a quarter are the same. So, if I take £3.60... And divide it by 4, see the denominator tells me, I will work out what 25% is. And if I just cover up the 0 and think of this as 36, I can divide that by 4, which would be um, 9. And obviously it's not 9 pounds, it's... 90p. So if there was 25% off, there's the original price. Take away 90p. The new price would be £2.70. Now, if you ever see 50% off, then you should know that 50% is the same as a half. And if I take the original price, £1.60, the denominator again tells me that I can just divide this number by 2. And it will give me what the new price is. Okay, that's the end of today's video. If you did like it, uh, again, hit me a big thumbs up down below. And if you would like to see more mass videos, then you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching.